Hello, my name's Chris Conti. Today we're gonna to talk about fiber optic cable. First thing is you gotta be careful about uh, bend radius and how you treat the fiber. You know, the fiber effectively is a piece of glass that's the width of a human hair, right down the middle of this armored jacketed cable. Um, so when you're pulling the cable, we try to keep them on reels. If not, you gotta keep a nice coil to them. Um, but when you're pulling the cable through a building or something like that, you don't wanna pull by the connector. Because if you pull by the connector, you're gonna pull the connector right off. So we try to pull it by the actual cable itself. Uh, the second thing is we're really sensitive to bend radius. This is about the maximum bend radius that you can do with the, fav uh, with the fiber, whether it's single mode or multi mode. If you bend it more than that, you're gonna snap the glass uh, piece inside. Um, and like I said, with single mode cable, bending it's gonna affect the performance, which is why oftentimes we'll use multi mode and stuff up to, in the lighting world, up to trusses and things like that because it's a little more resilient as far as bend radius. But even then, we're still limited on the max bend radius. The other thing is we always wanna keep it capped. The biggest problem we have with fiber is uh, if it gets dirty. If it gets dirty, the light can't shine through it. So unless you're plugging in it or unplugging it, you should always keep the cap on it. Uh, now the quad and the duo do have a, a, a flippy door inside it here that helps protect it. Even with the flippy door, you should still have the cap on it. When you're mated to another cable or mated to a panel mount, the loose cap should plug into the cap on the panel mount. 